Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I want to show you guys how I created this short reel for Valentine's Day. So basically, it's a top angle shot of me with this um, element that I added in After Effects and I color graded it in Dimension Resolve. I added the elements with Photoshop. So I'll be showing you guys the workflow from Photoshop, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve in one video in less than 10 minutes. Let's go. So the first thing is to open up After Effects, loading your video like this. By the way, if you like to learn the basics of After Effects, I'll be tagging the video in this YouTube video so you can watch that to understand what I'll be doing and saying a lot better. So go to Composition, Composition, and save frame as file so this way i just want to save out this particular frame this particular shot as an image in a photoshop format click on render then open up photoshop and load in the rendered image so you have something like this the next thing i want to do is to add the element so i have already downloaded this git box i downloaded it from google it's basically a top shot this box that is the search word then you want to go to select select subjects you want to click on the lasso tool then go to select and mask you want to smoothen it out a little bit then rasterize this layer click on command j then delete the lower one so now you just have the gift box Placed it at an angle this way. Then I'll use the lasso tool to just draw the shadow into my shot. So basically, I'm mimicking the shadow in my shot. This is coming from this angle. I'll create a new layer below the gift box. And then I'll keep my brush, my soft brush, on 50% opacity. I'll just paint it in. Command D to deselect. I'll go to filter Gaussian blur. Then to blend the box into my shot even a little bit more, I'll create a clipping mask, create a new layer and create a clipping mask. Then I'll use the brush to just darken that part. I can group everything. I will leave it that way for now. Then I'll look for my rose image. I'll just search for rose on the download. I'll drag this one in as well. Resize it. Just basically repeat the same process like you did for the gift box. This time a little bit more careful. You can even zoom in into your shot to get things to look precise and neat. Filter, Gaussian blur, and then you can just place it down, create clipping mask, then just brush the spots. So that way we have our elements into our shirt. I'll switch off the layer, then I'll click on Command Shift, Command Alt Shift S, or you can just save your image normally. So basically, I want to save it as PNG. So that way, it has no background. Then I'll save it to desktop. Once you save it to desktop, open up After Effects. Go to desktop and drag in your image like this. Then drag it on top of your video so you have it this way so the next thing i want to do now is to rotoscope myself out of this shot so i'm going to duplicate this video command c command v that's copy and paste i'll use the roto brush by the way if you want to learn the basics of after effect as well i'll be tagging the video to this youtube video so you might want to check that out double click on this then i'll select myself in the shot can even select the phone, select the book, then I click on freeze. 
a way for After Effects to do its thing. So it's basically going to remove you out of the background. For the sake of this video, I will not be waiting for that. So just make sure you allow the freezing to get to 100%. And when you're done, you switch out the lower bottom, you find out that you have been cropped out. Then move the second video, the one you rotoscoped, move it above the gift layer. Now it's just to add the text and some other elements. So I'm going to add in the time, 11, 59, 59, I'll just scale it up, I'll scale it up, so you can choose any font you want, then you can place the time just below the rotoscope layer, or even below the gift. That way it gives you some form of interaction. As you can see, we are almost done. Then the next thing you want to do now is to animate, animate the time. So let's switch off the rotoscope layer. To animate the time, click on this arrow, go to text, source text, and then just click on that icon, move forward. If you change the time now to 0, 0, 12, you can move forward, change it to 1, move forward, change it to 2, move forward, change it to 3, move forward, change it to 4. So basically, that animates the time it's as simple as that so now from here on is your imagination what you want to add and whatever story you're trying to tell by the way you might want to try my social icon templates i'll link it to the description of this video and now to davinci resolve this is the flat image and everything i came up with the color grading is very simple after opening up DaVinci Resolve and loading my image and my video, I use the adjustment key clip just above the video. I scale it up to match the duration of my video. Then I clicked on this. The adjustment is very simple. I came here and increased the saturation. I press Command Alt S, adjust the curves a little bit just to make it sharper. Then for the HDR, I move the light towards blue a little bit, and then the shadow towards green a little bit. Then I just adjusted the curves. By the way, if you like to learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve as well and my color grading process, I'll also be tagging the video to this YouTube video. So you can learn from that. So basically, it's just about playing with the parameters and enjoying yourself till you get what you like. I hope this video has been able to help someone out to create a short reel like I did. If you have not seen the short reel, I'll tag it to this video as well. So you can watch it and take your inspiration from that. Thank you guys for supporting me so far. We have... 8,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. I can't wait to get to 10,000 subscribers so I can keep producing more videos that you guys love and enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.